So first thing is rewriting it using the long division format. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Then you have to think, what do you multiply X by to get X squared? It would be X. So you're multiplying this X over here. So you're going to end up with X squared minus 2X in parentheses, and you're subtracting that off. Okay. Leading term is always going to cancel, and then this becomes a plus plus. Okay. From here, we're going to do negative 3X plus 2X. That's going to be negative X. And then the plus one just drops down. And now you have to think, what do you multiply X by to get negative X? Well, that would be negative one. So negative one times X minus two is, is going to be negative X plus two. The negative makes that positive. The negative X makes it negative X. And we're subtracting this here. The leading term cancels. And you're left with one minus two, which is negative one. That negative one is considered a what, Scott? Remainder. Okay. The rule for remainders is just do minus. It's, it's negatives. Or let's just do plus. We'll do plus, and then we'll make it a negative one up here. And you have to divide it by, remember before we divided it by the two that was here? Here we're going to divide it by x minus two. Now that's the final answer right here. That's the answer up there. As you can see, it doesn't factor. If it doesn't factor, there's a remainder, but we're going to go over that later, so do not worry about what I just said. Okay. So the answer for this, when it's fully simplified, is going to be x minus 1 plus negative 1 over x plus 2. Okay, final answer. I just rewrote it. You don't really have to do that. but Now, what this means is if I multiplied both sides, do not write this down. I just want your brain for right now. Do not write it down Okay, because you'll never have to do this. But if I multiply both sides by x minus 2 here, Okay, what's going to end up happening is this cancels. And if you multiply this here, you should get this part right here. So I'm going to kind of show you that over here. So we're going to do X minus two times. Don't write this down because you'll never need this. Unless you want to check your work, but. Oh, wait, that should be a minus two. Why did I change it to a plus? That's embarrassing. That's a minus. Sorry about that. It should be a minus. What I wrote originally is correct. Um, so this one should really be oh, I make it negative. So this one should be minus two, like that. Okay, and then if you distribute this, you end up with again. Don't write this down because it's a lot of work. So we're going to distribute this x minus two times x. So you're going to get x squared minus two x. Okay, then you're going to do x minus two times one negative one. So it's going to be minus x minus 2, and then you're going to multiply it over here by uh, plus x minus 2 times negative 1 over x minus 2, like this. Okay, now if you simplify all this, again, this is, you can see kind of why I w did not want you to do this because it's a lot of work. You're going to get x squared minus x is negative 3x. This is a plus 2. Plus 2 minus 1 is plus 1. If you notice, you get where you started. That purple step, what I have, what I have right here, is equal to this top part. Okay, so it's one way you can check it is distribute from the end, but really the answer is just this uh, is just this part here. Okay, and that's essentially it. You're going to have a quadratic or maybe even a cubic sometimes divided by some linear factor, and you just work it out using long division, and that's basically it. Okay. But it takes a lot to get used to. So that's why we're going to spend a lot of time on this um, today and tomorrow, um, just perfecting this because once you have this down, it's going to allow us to do a lot of other stuff.